Welcome back to Texel Hardware. Originally, I had planned to make this video all in one big piece, but I've since uh, just changed my, my plan to cover it in uh, multiple chunks. That way the video can be in-depth about each little piece and it won't have to be too terribly long. And you can just watch whatever segment you're interested in hearing about. Today's video is going to be on archival storage. So today all I'm going to be talking about and covering is my archival solution. I thought it'd be a great idea to kind of share my archival storage solution with you so that maybe it might give you guys some ideas on how you might be able to set up a similar thing to your own, a similar solution to meet your own needs. <clears throat> so without making this video forever long, let's dive right into it. The software that I chose was Syncback Free. With Syncback Free, it gives you the different choices of uh, locations where you want to back up your data from local sources to other local sources. If you need more backup solution support than that, what you can do is you can purchase the premium version or uh, the pro version actually is what it's called. And what the pro version allows you to do is use cloud services. So you can use your um, Amazon cloud, you can use your Microsoft OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox, etc., etc. There's so many different data storage backup and cloud service programs out there. The list goes on and on, it's endless. Uh, but it allows you to do that sort of in an FPT style data backup for off-site solutions. If you're like me, I haven't really adopted cloud storage on a very large scale, so pretty much all of my backup is on redundant drives, local, at my own, my own house. I think that this free version will work for the vast majority of most people, and uh, that's why I decided to share this with you. Once again, the software that I chose was called Syncback Free. So we'll open Syncback Free, and I will uh, show you how it basically works. This is a diagram of the fully automated storage solution that I designed for myself using the Syncback Free program software. Uh, basically, my archival storage it all goes to my West Digital Galaxy Drive. That's just what I named it. And that's what I use for my automated storage and retrieval system, ASRS. Um, basically, many programs and or um, file explorers will just draw the files right off of there and that drive and uh, load them up into my computer so that they will not have to be stored local on the machine. However, it's not safe to have those things only on the external drive and not on the system drive or any other, so of course I have it uh, set up so that it's got a mirror backup system. And uh, the mirror function forwards all that data that's on the West Digital My Book, which uh, contains my uh, items that I have listed out there. It pushes them straight over to the West Digital Galaxy archive. Now the secondary form of archival storage is the holding tank storage, which is another my Western Digital My Book, one terabyte drive, and that is used to temporarily offload data from portable drives to be filed later, which whether they're from other flash drives, my cell phone, or any other source. Also, it's got a dedicated space for archiving files that are too large to go on either of the Galaxy drives. The reason that there is a separate archive for larger files that's on that one terabyte drive is because the file format is FAT32 for the two Western Digital drives above, the Galaxy and Galaxy Archive. The max file size for any FAT32 drive is only four, gig four gigabytes. So anything larger than that is going to have to be stored elsewhere, and that's why the holding tank storage is formatted to the NTFS file system. I don't have very many files that are over four gigabytes, however, if I do, they have to end up going to the holding tank storage drive. Next, what I'll do is I'll go into the software and I will show you guys how to set up these backups and mirror functions and how to schedule them, how to manage them, so that you can have a similar setup to what I have as well. First of all, when you open the program, it will give you a 
basically a large window here and it will be completely blank in the center. And what this program allows you to do is to create different profiles. Here are a couple of different profiles that I have uh, currently created right here. So um, right here, this is the Galaxy 4 terabyte drives uh, weekly mirror backup. And this is the documents daily backup. Let me, for demonstration purposes, uh, go in here and I will just delete that. Note, do you want to delete? Yes, I do. Now it's gone. So now what I do to create that uh, daily backup is you'll go to profiles, select new, type in your profile name. Let's call it documents daily mirror backup and we'll click next. Type of uh, profile that you want to create. You can choose a backup which is going to create individual backup uh, folders uh, one by one by one and keep every single backup if you want to synchronize between the two or if you just want to mirror one to the other. I think in this case what I want to do is I want to mirror this so that only there's a copy of exactly what's on the original drive in that folder will be a mirror copy on the backup. So we click next and uh, what you want to do is verify that you have internal slash external drive, network path, etc. for both different uh, source and destination. If you want to use an FPT, the free version does allow you to do that manually, but it does not provide customized support for, for Microsoft OneDrive and, and other cloud services. So this is basically what you want. We'll click Done. Main profile will set up window will now open. Gives you the opportunity to make changes to the profile if required. So that's what we want to have happen. And here's the profile setup window. For those just starting out, there's options for simple, which keeps it basically with just these options here. So you can set up all the main things. What's your source? What's your destination? When do you want to do it to schedule the tasks? The type of backup that it is, you want to mirror files to the destination, which is what we selected earlier. Be able to search among your different profile sources and drives. If you want to unlock the expert mode, then you can click expert and it will unlock all these other things right here. You can select compare options, compression options, set encryptions. Uh, the list is very, very extensive. What I'm just going to do is demonstrate setting up the basics. So we want to select the source. So you click the little file button and uh, you want to go to the source folder that you want to copy. In this case, I'm going to click Documents. Now I'm in my Documents folder, which is located right there on the little bar. Select Folder. So now it's going to take everything that's in my Documents, set the destination for the mirror copy to go to. Now the mirror copy, uh, we want it to go to we want it to go to the MyBook KTB, which is a one terabyte drive right here. And then I've created a folder here, My Documents Daily Backup. It's got 146 gigabytes of stuff in it, which is quite a bit. Select Folder. So now we've select My Documents to the folder that we want to back it up to on the other drive. And this will describe all of the changes that will be done to the destination drive. So you can set up all of these different uh, options there. Once you're done, you can select a time for this to happen. So next we need to click when to set up a schedule. No tasks scheduled for this profile yet. You gotta click edit schedule. No schedule for the profile, documents, daily mirror backup. Would you like to create one? Yes. It will ask you for your restriction. No, you don't want to remove the task scheduler from an administrative level of protection. So you'll need to enter your password right there. Okay, 
so enter your password for your computer select do you want this profile to run daily weekly monthly or you can select any other option that you'd like to build in this case um, I'd like for this to run daily occur every one days time it should run let's make it uh, let's make it at uh, 10 p.m. every day so then we click OK next run today at 10 p.m. recurs every one days okay now there's it's now it's scheduled you can create additional schedules if you want to create both a monthly and a weekly and if you want a third uh, backup time um, you could schedule it at other any other odd intervals but you can mix and match different uh, schedules uh, if you choose to and it'll warn you if it feels you need to be warned about things. It says warning your profile is configured to delete files from the destination that are not on the source, which is okay for me, for this particular profile. So I'm gonna click okay, I accept that. Would you like to perform a simulated run? Now this is another cool feature. The program will uh, do a simulated run that will tell you which things will be copied or modified or otherwise deleted and will give you a report before it will before you actually run the simulation just to make sure that all of the uh, file changes are actually changes that you want to make to make sure that the profile that you built is the profile that you meant to build which is a really nice feature actually so click yes we will run a simulation just so that you can see what that looks like when it begins it can take a little bit of a time to build a simulation uh, sometimes depending on the size of what you're backing up however it appears that this has already shown some things that I removed from the, the my documents folder on the computer that are still in the old backup so it will say it would delete those from the part from the destination and that's okay because I've got those already backed up elsewhere all right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video on how to set up your own automated storage solution. And uh, if you're interested in seeing any more uh, advanced tutorials on how to use SyncBack Pro, maybe some of the other advanced features, let me know in the comments and I'll consider uh, doing a video on that if there's enough interest about it. Also, feel free to let me know in the comments if you actually started using this software uh, because of watching this video, and uh, let me know if it's been if it's been helpful for you. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this content, then consider a subscription so that you stay currently updated with all future releases from Texel Hardware. Also, feel free to send me an email or a Steam invite. I love to play games with people.